Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here! Welcome to the Vengeance Match Card. Let's break it down. First starting off with the Intercontinental Championship. It's going to be Jay White taking on Rusev. Rusev had to win a tremendous Intercontinental Championship tournament to get here. Even seen the return of his manager or his friend, whatever you want to call it, tag team partner in England is to reform Rusev Day. I am my honest opinion, Rusev had the hardest path to go in this tournament. He did what he had to do. He won. He he won the big one. He won in the finals. And now tonight he takes on the ever cocky intercontinental champion, Jay White. Jay White says he has a plan. Jay White says he's prepared for the Bulgarian boot. Meanwhile, the Bulgarian boot is in the biggest match of his career as he can win a championship that he's never won before in the Intercontinental Championship. And then we have a rematch. This is all about vengeance, ladies and gentlemen. It's the War Raiders taking on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. This is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Vengeance is on the line, ladies and gentlemen, because the War Raiders are looking to defeat Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, the same guys that beat them at NXT TakeOver Las Vegas, ended that undefeated streak of the War Raiders. He beat them on pay-per-view. The War Raiders lost their last and fi first and final NXT TakeOver of their career against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Owens and Zayn are the only team to beat the War Raiders in tag team action. The War Raiders came to Monday Night Raw as well as Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. What a story this has been. Ooh, the War Raiders won a number one contendership matchup on a, on a Monday Night Raw. And now they're facing the two, the, the, the same two guys that are the only team to beat them here in WWE. And that is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Will the War Raiders get their revenge? What a story this has been. Owens and Zayn versus the War Raiders Part 2. Are we getting new tag team champions? Let me know in the premiere chat down below. Or will Owens and Zayn find a way to do it? Again, just like they did at NXT TakeOver Lost and a big one and one I'm looking forward to. It's gonna be a horse fight. It's Big E versus Roman Reigns for the United Kingdom Championship. Roman Reigns was almost there. Roman Reigns was at the top of the mound. Roman Reigns was just one move away from becoming the, 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 the WWE Champion. But you know what happened? Big E Langston happened. Big E stuck his nose where it did not, did not belong. And now we're going to get Big E and Roman for the United Kingdom Championship at Vengeance. Roman Reigns beat, beat up Big E. I, I, I bet Big E is bruised. I bet Big E is battered from that assault on Monday Night Raw. Roman Reigns was mad. He was mad. And, and he had every right to be mad. Because Big E Langston cost Roman Reigns a shot at the WWE Championship. Now Roman Reigns is looking to take something from Big E that he loves. And that is the, that is the United Kingdom Championship. It's Big E Langston versus Roman Reigns live tonight. This, this, this Sunday at Vengeance. You don't want to miss it. And then this one is big. It's John Cena versus Lars Sullivan. John Cena came out on a Raw after WrestleMania Las Vegas. He wanted to speak to the WWE Universe about the Velveteen Dream situation. Him defeating Velveteen Dream at WrestleMania Las Vegas. And what was next for John Cena? John Cena couldn't get a single word out as the freak, the Leviathan, Lars Sullivan came out and assaulted John Cena. And Cena had to be stretchered out of the ring. Two weeks later, the C Nation leader returned after Lars Sullivan destroyed El Mago in the middle of the ring. Now, he returned and AA Lars Sullivan and left the ring as John Cena as Sullivan popped right back up. Now they we got a grudge match. It's Cena versus Lars Sullivan live for your vengeance. Can Cena get his vengeance from Sullivan's attack? We'll find out tonight at Vengeance. Or will Lars Sullivan put down another legend? And now we're on to the Raw Women's Championship match. It is Io Shirai versus Shayna Baszler. Ladies and gentlemen, this is personal. Io Shirai has been talking about chasing their dreams 
of being the Raw Women's Champion for a long time. Io Shirai has been clamoring for this opportunity. Io Shirai has been waiting for this opportunity at the Raw Women's Championship. And now she's able to get it. She won a fantastic women's tournament to get here. She, she defeated four other women to get this opportunity at the Raw Women's Championship. And now... At Vengeance, she will get it against a ruthless Shayna Baszler, a dominant Shayna Baszler, the former NXT Women's Champion, now Raw Women's Champion. She was drafted to Monday Night Raw. These two are, are is, is not going to be for the faint of heart. They're going to tear it up, and I am beyond excited for this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be absolutely incredible. And finally, your main event evening. It's for the WWE Championship. It's gonna be a fight tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's Adam Cole versus Finn Balor versus Johnny Gargano for the WWE title. Adam Cole, the brand new WWE Champion, the, the Panama City Playboy, the man that captured the WWE Championship at WWE WrestleMania in Las Vegas. That Adam Cole takes on Finn Balor, the former WWE Champion, who's looking to get his get his championship back from WrestleMania Las Vegas. And Johnny Gargano, the Rebel Heart, the former Intercontinental Champion. All these guys deserve to be here. Originally, it was going to be Johnny Gargano versus Finn, versus Finn Balor in a one-on-one -on -one match. But the underscore ever butt the heads in and, and, and ruined the match. One week later, Triple H announced that it's gonna be a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Every single person, both Gargano and Balor, get the opportunity. Who will walk out of vengeance with the WWE Championship? Will it be the Panama City Playboy? Or will it be the Demon King? Will it be the Rebel Heart? We'll find out tomorrow, 2 p.m., 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern, live from Toronto, Canada, and the O2. Don't miss it!